Welcome to Simple Software Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your colors to your document assets. Now, something that I think every XD user should become very familiar with is this Assets tab here. So this is where you can store all your colors, your character styles, and your components, which could be your logos, um, your icons, all of that stuff. So anything that is related to your brand or the brand that you're working on can live in here so you can easily access it without having to keep bringing it from the outside source or figure out where it is elsewhere in this document. So what we're focusing on right now is on colors. So for this example, I'm just going to use Adobe Colors. So I'm uh, what I have here is brandcolors.net and I have Adobe Colors pulled up. So we've got seven colors here that I want to bring into this design. And I want them easily available. So whenever I need to color something that color, uh, it's very easy for me to do so. So I'm gonna move this back over to my other screen here. And so a way that I think is kind of easy to do this is to just create some boxes here. So I'm just gonna create a box and I'm gonna use repeat grid. And so I wanna add about seven boxes here. So I think that's eight, but okay. So I'm going to ungroup them. So the nice thing about this brand colors.net is when I click on the color, it automatically copies it to my clipboard. So that's going to make it really easy. So what I want to do is I want to color this first box. So I'm going to click on fill. And then here in the hex code, I'm going to paste. I'm just going to control V or command V, whatever you use. I'm going to hit enter. It turns that box that color. So you notice there's a plus sign down here. There's a plus sign over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this plus sign here. So what that does is it puts the color right down here. So anytime I click on fill, it's going to have my recent colors here. It's going to have these colors here. So I have it right here. I'm going to keep filling these up with the rest of the colors. Okay, and I have one more color to go. So I'm copying it from brandcolors.net. I'm gonna click on this box. I'm gonna click on this fill. I'm gonna paste it in there, hit enter. That fills the box. And then I'm gonna click on this plus to add it here. Okay, so now still there's nothing here under assets, but what you might notice is that now these pluses can be clicked on. So what I'm going to do to add these colors to my colors here in assets is I'm gonna click on plus. So let's color, sorry, let's highlight all of these. Sorry, I only had one highlighted. There we go. So now they're all showing up here. Now what I can also do too, so say if these have certain names, what I can do is I can name them things like Apple, whatever their name is. I just kind of double click in there, mango, um, whatever you want to do to, to remember what they are, uh, you can do. So you can name these however you want. So that's a really handy way of getting your colors in here. So now if I create a new uh, object in here, I can either click here and fill and I have my colors here and I can hover over and see what they're called. Or I can just click on one of these items and it fills it right from my color. So that way I know that I'm using the proper colors every single time. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful tutorials. Check out my website at simplesoftwaretutorials.com and have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.